morning guys and welcome back to my youtube channel and today i just wanted to test out something pretty crazy um pero this technique has been around for quite some time now and i think i think the recent trends of setting sprays originated from this idea um we all know that left and right you know brands are releasing their different versions of setting sprays you know urban decay has one scandinavia has one um what else milani has one now and you know all of them has or have their different um brand or have their different version of a setting spray i remember the very first one that i tried was back in the day that was craftopian yung setting spray nila and i remember using it and feeling na I cannot move my face and it felt tacky on the face and it kind of reminded me yes of a hairspray um, so this is what I wanted to share with you guys now and wanted to test out because um, I've heard or well actually I already I already know that this technique of setting your makeup originated from the theater and theater makeup artists um, use this technique because back in the day, um, they didn't want the makeup that they've done on the act actors and actresses to melt under the harsh um, theater lighting. So what they did was, and because they were short of time, um, what they use on the hair, they also used for the face. And I am talking none other than your trusty hairspray. Yes, the hairspray that you use on your hair to set your curls. This is the same thing. This is the original um, product that where it all originated from. You know, the setting spray, the Scandinavia. This is where it started. And I just wanted to try it out today if this works somehow. And so, as you can see, I already have a full, um, well, not really full face makeup because I don't really have eyeshadow right now. And I don't plan to wear it today because it's so hot in the outside. Today is summer, the start of summer season here in the Philippines, and it's scorching hot. It can get as high as 34 degrees outside. So um, I'm just um, using minimal makeup. I'm not using foundation. I'm just using concealer. I've used the a pink sugar concealer just on the areas that I didn't conceal it, and then. Um, I, I did my brows and I, I finished off with setting powder, the Ben Knife powder and uh, the Chanel powder on some areas that I want to highlight. And so, I'm gonna test out this technique and, um, and I'm gonna go about my day and um, I'm gonna check with you guys um, how this entire um, old age probably technique um works okay so i'm just gonna spritz my face um it is preferable to um to choose a setting spray that is well not that harsh on the skin um and they say that um on some thread i actually read that it's they don't advise to use hairspray for your face because that it's for the hair and it has a high alcohol content that has a tendency to make your skin dry and um well correct me if i'm wrong i read those setting sprays ingredients and one of the main ingredients that is included in those setting sprays are um, is alcohol so i said you know why not try it out you know and just choose um, a better alternative rather than those to say back in the days like 80s and stuff like that um where hairspray is rampant and major hindi um, healthy ingredients than hairspray that is so I think right now there are more alternatives I just use what I whatever I have lying around and this is the food wax and this is made in Korea and it sets the hair nicely and I um, let's see if it will set my makeup nicely too so here we go just shake it and it is advisable to just spritz it from afar like you would a normal setting spray and here goes the thing. So 
So, the feeling is not tacky at all. I guess for some people, yung mga lababasa ko sa threads, I think they are spraying this for um, a little too close to the skin. That's why they're getting a lot of, a lot of products on their skin and that's what make it, that's what's making their um, their skin like really tight. And, um, I just did the normal technique as you would um, as a normal setting spray. So let's see if that will make any difference to my makeup. And I've also, I rarely put makeup on my, my this part of my face like the nose and this upper lip because at the end of the day, I find that Humuhulas na siya kasi ako yung type of person na I don't care. <laughs> I, I just, I touch my face, whatever. So, um, I, I avoid putting any product on there. So, right now, I, I put product on there and I'm gonna try if this will work. This may change the way I do makeup. Oh, also, I'm gonna be uh, using a technique on the lashes too. I'm just gonna be curling my eyelashes and then be um, spraying my spoolie, this little spoolie here, with the hairspray, and I'm trying to get to to put a little bit of the product on my lashes to see if that will hold a curl, because um, my 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 eyelashes is like straight down, so it cannot hold a curl for that long. So I'm gonna be trying out if this will work too for the lashes as well, and I'm gonna be checking in with you guys later. Just checking up the day, um, makeup is still intact, pero yung mga lasa gilid gilid dog like this one, tutuklap na siya, so let's see how this will hold up throughout the day, okay?
so far, the coat is okay. Yung lashes ko, may pa-coding ko. So, I think I'm up to something and check in with that food. And I'm back. Grabe, ang init sa labas. I did a check-in kanina before we ate uh, lunch and that's 12 o'clock and it's the the hairspray was on my face for a good four hours at that time so it okay okay pa naman siya and i did a check-in sa loob ng bathroom kasi yun lang yung um medyo secluded na may natural lighting or merong some sort of a window okay pa naman yung found yung um concealer ko dito yung makeup ko dito but the thing is ito Yan. Which, normal lang naman sa akin na hindi talaga tumatagal yung makeup sa akin dito. Dito, dito, yan. Yung mga areas na yan. Pati na rin sa under eyes. And then, yung sa nose, I can, for some reason, I cannot, cannot, um, keep foundation or any makeup product on my nose. Talagang hulas sa to, hulas pa rin yan talaga. Kasi, pawisan niya ako. So, ayan na siya ngayon. So, looking on, um, onto um, a mirror napansin ko siguro it works it works in some parts kasi dito okay pa naman siya okay siya dito eh oh. hindi pa siya humuhulas dito sa cheeks but ang talaga humulas is yung dito sa, sa front it works maybe in some ways pero I think it also varies to kung ano yung skin type mo. Like for me, I have, I'm oily in the T-zone and I sweat a lot in my face. So, I think hindi rin kinaya no hairspray yung, yung gravity nung situation. And remember, I also tried to put yung hairspray sa kaka-curl ko lang na eyelashes to see if that will help dun sa, ano, sa, sa stick straight kong lashes. But, unfortunately, it did not work ngayon. Ano na siya? Um, hindi na siya ganun ka-curl. Like, it's just natural. Naka-drop down na naman siya. And, hindi siya effective. So, that's it. Ang verdict natin, mm, effective nga ba ang hairspray? Is it effective? The hairspray? Is it comparable to the high-end um, setting spray, finishing spray? Basically, yes. And, hindi pa ako, um, hindi pa ako masyadong convinced with finishing spray. I have yet to find a finishing spray that really would work for me. Siguro kapag uh, I've encountered that, I'll change my mind. But right now, I'm, I don't know. Uh, for me, at least in my skin type and the way how my my face is that I sweat a lot um, hindi siya nakakatulong it's not helping me it's just an added step unnecessary in my opinion if you want your makeup to last longer I, I suggest na lang you work on your base the primer and how you apply your foundation rather than relying solely on setting spray it's just an option but you shouldn't be relying on that alone. Just my two cents regarding finishing sprays and setting sprays. I'd rather invest in a good primer and good foundation rather than the finishing or setting spray. Yun lang. So, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and if you, um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe and click nyo na rin yung parang alarm or bell icon sa tabi ng subscribe button para mananotify kayo if I have future uploads. So, always remember that curiosity never killed anyone and that's it guys. See you in my next video. Bye!